Hi everyone, I can't believe that it's March already. We start talking about March and what's going to be going on in the pie shop uh, in January. So we start planning at least two or three months ahead of time. So we've got a lot of things going on in the month of March for you. Our marketing calendar is attached below. Go ahead, hit that link if you'd like to print out our entire marketing calendar for the month of March. There's a lot going on. There's a couple of new flavors back on the menu. There is a new pot pie, and we have Pie Day, March 14, 3.14. So we're gonna be celebrating math for all of you math nerds, all you numbers nerds out there. Talk about numbers all day long, celebrate with some pie. All of our slices will be $3.14 that day. Teachers get 15% off of your pies. You can come in on the 13th and 14th, show your school ID, call ahead. Order those pies ahead if you want to be sure that you're going to get some. I think it's going to be a very busy day for us. All right, so every Friday through the month of March, we're celebrating Lent, Lobster Lent. We do that every year. So every Friday, all of our lobster pot pies will be $3 off. These lobster pot pies are really delicious. I baked one up last night just to um, do some testing as I do all the time here at home. I'm always making sure that our baking instructions are correct. So the little uh, six inch pot pie took me about 45 minutes to bake at 375. I also baked a big a nine inch beef pot pie and that took about an hour and a half. Um, not as long as in the frozen state. I let it defrost overnight in my refrigerator and I knew I had guests coming so I popped it in the oven about an hour and a half before they arrived and it was just perfect. Um, so anyway, we do have chicken pot pies, beef pot pies, spinach pot pies, and our wonderful lobster pot pies year round. So $3 off every Friday through the month of March. March is also St. Patrick's Day on the 17th. So we have a very uh, short run, a very limited supply of our corned beef and cabbage pot pie as well. So we should have that in store by the airing of this video for you uh, while supplies last. It's delicious, you guys, really good. Same baking instructions as all the rest. We ask that you um, call ahead, place your order. If you want us to bake those pies for you, the, the savory pies, we'd be happy to do that. We've got our ovens running all day usually. Um, they are frozen and they are raw. They're ready for you to take home and bake yourself. However, if you're running out of time, give us a call a few hours ahead of time. We'll make sure that we have that out of the oven for the time that you're gonna arrive in our stores. I've got a link below to uh, all of our stores here in the Metro Detroit area. You can check that out and uh, give them a call or even uh, pre-order your pies. More about St. Patrick's Day, we have our shamrock pie back on the menu for a short time. It is made starting with a black bottom dark chocolate cookie crust. We fill it with our homemade pastry cream and you're gonna notice that pastry cream is green. It's beautiful, it's a natural food coloring. Of course, we don't use any artificial green food coloring, right? Um, it's delicious, it's just lightly uh, peppermint flavored and we top it with whipped cream. We have the little chopped up Andy's mints there on top and it's all drizzled with our dark chocolate. Wonderful. You guys will be so happy to know that the Veronica's Raspberry Divine Pie is back on the menu. I know it's a lot of people's favorite pie and we'll be carrying it for the next couple of months so don't worry but hurry in, get yours while they're hot, a call ahead if you'd like. And again, all of our slices of pie, including the Veronica's and the uh, Shamrock pie, are going to be $3.14. So if you're not sure and you wanna try a new flavor, come on in, get all the slices you want, supply your whole uh, workplace, pick a slice up for everybody in your office. But like I said, if you want to, call ahead to be sure that we have all of the flavors in stock. Better yet, just come on in, check it out. All of our showcases will just be packed full of all our different slices of pie that we carry. I bet some of our stores will have 20 to 25 different flavors of pie. So we also have our raspberry rhubarb pie for a very short time as well. Uh, we have that in a full size 
and a small little mini five inch pie too. You know it's um, strange, we usually do strawberry rhubarb, right? That's a very popular pie. But uh, we thought we would try some raspberry rhubarb for a very short time, we'll have those in our store. So three of our springtime pie flavors are back on the menu for a very short time. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoy. Wanted to keep it short and sweet this week. Um, if you are in business for yourself or you're thinking about getting in business, uh, the reason for this video is you've got to market yourself. You have to tell the community that you are in business, that you're here to help, you're here to serve, and what are you doing in business? You want to tell everybody what is so different about you. What do you do? Do you have added value? What differentiates you from all the other competition out there. For a very long time here at Ackett's Pie Company, uh, we were just really not focused on marketing. Uh, basically, our marketing was word to mouth, right? So we've been in business for 26 years. We didn't really uh, have the internet when we first started. Uh, people were not tweeting or Facebook or Instagramming about us, and we weren't doing it on ourselves either. Usually. Uh, our marketing was putting an ad in the local newspaper, you know, place your, you know, holiday orders. But mostly it was word to mouth, and that was some of the best marketing that you could ask for, even today, right? When friends are telling their friends about you, you know, and recommending you, that's the best that you can do. But people really wanted to know, Ackett's, what are you doing? I can go to the grocery store and buy a pie. What's so different about you? And so we had to tell people, look, we're making a homemade pie. Uh, our pies have nine ingredients and you can pronounce every one. You know, we would do a cutting or uh, a side-by-side -side comparison. I remember um, typing up a list of our ingredients on one side of the sheet of paper and typing up the typical grocery store pie ingredients on the other side of an eight and a half by 11. And so that column was really super long, maybe 38 ingredients. Ours had a very short column nine ingredients and that was really um, speaking louder than words just to see the length of the ingredient label so people um, understood that we bought local milk from a local dairy farm our rhubarb came from local farms of course our apples came from local farms here in michigan we're surrounded by uh, apple orchards uh, we're surrounded by strawberry fields and blueberries are one of our number one crop here in Michigan as well. So people understood that we bought local, that we were supporting local farms, and that everything was made from scratch. And we're still doing it the same way here 26 years later. In fact, I think we got better at what we were doing, um, actually measuring and weighing things now. So you guys, I appreciate you joining me here today. And if you think that um, you could share this video or with somebody else, please feel free to like it and share it and subscribe. All right, you guys, I'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you.